Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ini and you are definitely watching Parenting with Ini. This is where we get to navigate through parenting together. Thank you so much for staying tuned. Thank you for clicking on this video. I am really, really grateful. And if this is the first time you are past, like you are seeing my face, you're seeing this channel, uh, this is the first time you're clicking on my video, just know I really, really appreciate you. I'm so honored to have you even click on this video to watch. Thank you so, so much. So in today's video, we want to talk about or rather answer the question, are men allowed to go for antenatal clinic with their wives? So like, for example, your wife is pregnant and you as a man, you're like, I would love to go for these clinics with, with her. Is it a place where I can also go or is only for the pregnant um, woman? Mm -hmm. That's what I want to answer in today's video. So let's get right into it. My answer or my quick answer to this question is that we don't even have to beat around the bush. Is yes, men can as well accompany their wives, their wife to the antenatal clinic. It's actually very, very important. It's actually very recommended. For me, I will honestly recommend as a husband, please make out time and go with your wife to the antenatal clinic. What is antenatal clinic? Antenatal clinic is the is the frequent um, assessment that is done on a pregnant woman. The doctor or the guy that gets to check on the pregnant woman, how she's doing, you know, in terms of her health as well, how the baby in the womb is doing, how both the mother and the baby are doing, the pregnancy progression so far, is there any cause for alarm? Is, is everything going on smoothly and okay? Are we progressing well in the pregnancy journey up to when now the woman gives birth. And even after you give birth, it's always important. There's something called postnatal clinic uh, reviews. So you have to also go at least once or twice, depending on your scheduling with the doctor. Okay. Doctor will advise you whether you, you come at least once after giving birth or more, depending on the process you went through giving birth and all of that. Okay. So that's basically the antenatal clinic is a a frequent assessment of the baby and the mother, the pregnancy journey so far, just to make sure that everything is okay, everything is aligning well, your pregnancy is progressing well, and uh, there's no cause for alarm and everything. So if you don't go, how will you know your baby in the womb is okay? How will you know your pregnancy journey is smooth and it's okay and everything is in order? That's why a pregnant woman is advised to always go for antenatal clinic okay yeah it could be you're depending again there's no standard at you it has to be after two months or after three months you know it depends also with your doctor with you and your doctor okay on the whole pregnancy journey that you're going through the doctor can tell you you'll be seeing me weekly you'll be seeing me monthly you'll be seeing me after two months depending on your arrangement with the doctor but most frequently it's always a monthly um, clinic visit monthly most frequently it's always a monthly clinic reviews okay yeah so now i've having explained what antenatal clinic is now is it proper for the man to go with the wife for the clinic yes i will say yes please husbands accompany your wife to the clinic it's very important be there because you walk the journey of the pregnancy with her. You get to also know what is going on in the body of your wife. You get to know how the baby is doing. And most of the time, because you are the husband, you are most of the time her first support system, right? Because you live with her in the house. If you get to hear what the doctor is saying and recommending, you'll be there to support her, to keep herself in the right in the, in the right frame, you know, to, for the pregnancy to also progress um perfectly well like for example you'll be able to know that your wife is on supplement so you can always remind her have you taken your supplement have you drank water have you have you done this have you done that have you tried to do like this do like that as the doctor said in the last visit but if you're not there and she's the only one who is there who will be there to be reminding her and keeping her accountable hence the pregnancy progressing well you understand so it is important for you to be there to get to also know what is happening in the body of your wife to get to know what is going on in the in the baby that you get both of you are expecting and also to be there as her accountability partner so that both of you can hear what the doctor is saying and you keep her accountable okay and also if you're there you see how the pregnancy is progressing and everything you would also not want to stress your wife at home right because you understand what she's going through you understand what is going on in her body so you'll be more understanding. But if you don't know anything, you're not, you don't have any clue of what pregnancy journey is about and anything, you will not like you will not be 
you will not understand the journey. Hence, you might be doing some things in the house or, you know, stressing her without knowing the implication and the negative impacts that it's having on your wife. But if you're there, you are understanding the step-by-step -step journey of the pregnancy, um, you, you, will, you, you will discover that you'll be more understanding, you'll be more caring, you'll be more available, you'll be more involved in the pregnancy because you understand what your wife is going through, okay? And apart from that, the joy of just walking the journey of pregnancy with your wife, come on. For you, for this person to be your wife, it means you you love her, right? You want to be involved in the journey of bringing forth your baby, okay? It could be your first child, second child, fifth child, seventh child, but every child is different and every child is a blessing, the joy of going this journey process by process with your wife is just so amazing. You don't want to miss out on those kind of opportunities. And these are lifetime opportunities, you know, because every child is different. So please, husbands, go this journey with your wife all the way. These clinics, most of the time, like I said earlier on, they are monthly antenatal clinics, okay? So taking a day, one day off your busy schedules to accompany your wife, and it's not even a whole day thing, it's a few minutes, a few minutes thing, depending on where you're going for the clinic, depending on, you know, it's just a few minutes uh, meeting where the doctor just gets to assess your wife and, you know, the whole journey of pregnancy, and that is it, okay? So, I mean, spend those few minutes, you know, in a month to go with your wife for such an important appointment, I don't think it's too much to ask. Every month, once a a month please go with her walk the journey of pregnancy with her walk the journey of bringing forth your baby you know together with her be her accountability partner encourage her support her take good care of her at home because you understand the journey that she's going through you understand the process you know what it is you you understand you're not the one carrying the pregnancy but for the virtual fact that you are so involved in the entire journey of pregnancy it makes it less burden less burden on her because both of you are, are are walking the journey it looks like both of you are carrying it together okay so that is why it is important for the man to accompany the wife as as in to for the pre, uh, for the antenatal clinic at times once in a while something can come up and the man is not able to don't beat yourself so hard but at least try as much as possible the most frequent time that you can to ensure that you are there with her you know in the entire antenatal clinic um journey okay now someone would ask me you that you're telling us was your husband following you to all these clinics um okay every pregnancy is different and every season is different i'll be very honest with you guys with our first baby my husband made sure he came for all the clinics all the clinics that i would go for we would book the appointment and he would go with me for all the clinics as much as possible. Okay, I think if he missed, he missed like once or twice or so, but most of the time he was always there with me for the clinics. He really, really was there most of the time. I would say like 90% of the clinic uh, visit, he was always there with me. With our second baby, um, I wouldn't say he gave it a, a 90%. I don't know what happens, you know, with human beings. It's as if maybe you, do, you just feel like, uh, now I, I now kind of have an idea of what this is about, you know, and all of that. So, but he still tried to be, you know, to be there for the clinics. He still would come with me for the clinics, but not 90% this time around. And I'm being honest with you guys, because these are human beings we're talking about. We are humans, right? Yeah. He's also human, right? <laughs> yes. And he has his own reasons, you know. Okay. So if he, I think he would, I would give him like a 70%, you know, with the second baby, 70%. He, he tried to. To come but not not all the clinics and he didn't miss one or two i think he missed more than that but 70 percent of the clinics he he would come he would come and then um, join me in the clinic and everything and we'll do it together and all of that now with the third baby um he didn't come for all the clinics yeah and that's been honest with you he didn't come for all the clinics sometimes um life just happens like maybe he's busy or something like work and all of that so he didn't come for all the clinics in the third baby. He came for some. He missed some. Yeah. So I would say 50. 50 or 40. Yeah. Let's say 40. Like he honestly, I think I could count the number of times he came for the clinics than the ones that he did not come. Yeah. He he came for a few of the clinics, but the most important ones. You see the ones that they would do probably like he, he didn't come for mo most of the clinics, but he came for some. He came for a few of them. Okay. 
yeah and that's me being honest with you but at least he made efforts to come for one or two three four clinics uh, um, throughout the nine months of the pregnancy journey okay yeah so at least i think he came for like four three or four of the clinics he was there three or four of the clinics out of the whole month of pregnancy three or four of the clinics in the third baby he was there and that's that happens that's what that's like that's life for you my dear because i think when you get it's as if you're getting used to the whole journey you're getting used to the whole thing you feel like now you already understand or you already know what to anticipate and everything so you even feel like ah, you don't have to go the two of us you can just try and go right you can go if you, you i mean you can just go like if you're if you're able to go by yourself i don't have to be there and all of that and those are not things you fight about that's what i'm saying um if 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 someone has made an effort if at least make an effort as a man make an effort and go for the clinics make an effort go for it you may not go for all the clinics because of the nature of your work or your busy schedules and everything but just make an effort and show your spouse that you are on this journey with her she's not alone and i wouldn't encourage you that the more children you have you know reduce on the number of clinics you go um please try and still be there. Go for all the clinics if, if it's possible. If you're able to, please go for all the clinics. It's very, very um, important. Please go for all the clinics, okay? If you can, please go for all the clinics. But if you are like, maybe um, like my husband, in terms of your, your nature of work and all of that, you're not able to come for all the clinics or even the timing. At times, even the timing that would affect um, him being able to come and all of that. The timing also would affect and all, all of that. So if you're like, my husband, who was not able to come for all the clinics because of nature of work and busy schedules and everything, please try and make sure you attend at least some of the clinics. It doesn't have to be all of them. Try and attend at least some of them. It's important. But don't just leave your wife to go for all the clinics alone. Try and attend some of those clinics at least, okay, in, throughout the, the journey of pregnancy. And let me add this here. You can, shouldn't be too busy for important things like that, okay? You should try and try make an effort, except it's just beyond you that you just cannot. Don't say I'm busy at work. I'm busy at work. I'm busy at work. I can't come. I'm busy at work. I, I can't come. Make effort to show up. Make effort. Like I said, it's a few minutes only. Make effort to show up. Okay, if you can. But it's really hard for you. Maybe you're not even in the in the in the in, around. You're not available. Like you're not around. You're not in the in the city at the moment. You've traveled or something like that. That's understandable. Okay, but try as much as possible to make effort to attend those clinics. They're very very important. All right. Yeah. So that's one thing I wanted to say there. And then now another point also is as women, don't make a fuss out of it. Don't fight because your your spouse is not going for the clinic with you. Don't feel less loved. Don't bring a problem out of it because, oh, he needs says the man should be there. And if you're not there, it means you are it is the problem there's a problem. No. You are the one who is pregnant at the end of the day. Go for your clinics. If you can have your husband join you, be grateful appreciate it and go with him but if your husband is a type who doesn't like such things doesn't want to come for those things for their own reasons or whatever it is i'm not justifying that for them but please I, all i'm saying is it's not something that should make you walk yourself out you know feel less loved and make a problem out of it in your marriage because your spouse did not accompany you for your uh, antenatal clinic remember like i said in my other video one of the things that you need during this pregnancy journey is peace of mind try as much as possible to get off things that are going to temper with your peace of mind you need your peace of mind because you need to have a sane person you know healthy person to go through your journey of pregnancy successfully so whether your husband goes with you for the clinic or not you have to go for your clinic because you're the one who is pregnant you're the one the doctor wants to check you know on so if your doctor, your husband is not able to go with you for whatever reason it is, okay, don't stress about it. Be realistic with yourself, carry yourself and go for your clinic if you can um, go alone. If you can't find someone else who can accompany you, go for your clinic. You are the one carrying the baby at this point and your health, your, your peace of mind, your mental state, your emotional state of mind is very important. They all work together in this journey of pregnancy, okay? They all work together. And so you need to be perfectly okay. You need to be well-balanced, emotionally, mentally, physically, 
even spiritually okay so please take good care of yourself don't let things stress you don't let oh my husband is not coming with me for the clinic stress you talk to him if he sees reasons with you if he's understanding he will accompany you for all the clinics for some of the clinics for few of the clinics whichever way Husbands are different, okay? Appreciate whatever efforts that he is bringing on the table. And for husbands, please give a little more support to your pregnant wife. Be there for them. It doesn't cost you anything. In fact, even it earns you even more love. It earns you, like, be there for your wife. Try as much as possible. Go with them for those clinics. It means a lot to them. Okay, support them. Be be a, a good accountable pa accountability partner for them in their house. You know, work with them in the journey of pregnancy because at the end of the day, this baby is for both of you. It's not only for her alone. Okay, so try your best. I know you're busy. I know men think differently and all of that, but you can always be there for your husband, uh, for your wife. Sorry, you can always work with her in the journey of pregnancy. If you can go for those clinics with her, take her to those clinics. It means so much to her. It it also makes her feel like we are in this together. It's not only her in it again, is in, in it alone. Okay. So that's my encouragement to men. If you can, please make effort. Attend those clinics. You don't have to attend all of them. If you cannot, you can attend most of them. You can attend few of them. You can you can do 50-50, whichever way. But just make sure that you show your wife that you are in this journey with her together. And one of the ways that the woman will appreciate that you are in this journey with her together is at times taking her for those clinics, driving her to the clinic, go with her for the clinics, attend the clinic with her, okay? Sit with her there and listen also to what the doctor is saying that is happening with her and the pregnancy journey. Thank you so much for watching this video. Allow me to end it there. I am sure the, the, the point is home. Allow me to end it there. And I'll see you in my next video tomorrow, hopefully. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on this video. I will really, really appreciate it. I would love to read from you guys. And also, if you if there are other topics, parenting, pregnancy-related topics, that you, baby-related topics that you would like me to address on this channel, please feel free to leave those topics in the comment section. You can even DM me on at Parenting with Ini on Instagram. I'll be so happy to pick the topic up and, you know, speak about it as well. Thank you so much and let's see you tomorrow, hopefully, okay? Until then, stay positive always and take good care of those blessings that God has given to you. Bye for now.